in the last class I at last I discussed the different uh, duty cycle of a power source welding power source and its rating. Depending upon the rating and power sources what are the different classification of welding power source that also I have discussed in details in uh, last class. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on welding power sources characteristics. That means, what is the characteristics of a welding power source? Generally, generally, whatever the welding power sources we are using, it has some characteristics. What is that characteristic? The related to that characteristic, today I will deliver a lecture. Actually, power source characteristics can be uh, classified into two different categories. One is a static characteristics of power sources, and another one is dynamic characteristics. Now. Today's lecture, I will discuss in details about static characteristics and dynamic characteristics of power sources. First of all, I will discuss about static characteristics of power sources. Static characteristics means here the variation, that means it is the variation of uh, variation of load in a, once we uh, do the welding, then whatever the uh, output we are getting, that variation is not uh, rapid that means variation is generally is not almost there that means the variation does not depends on time so that is generally called a static variation it is not time dependent uh, output a dynamic or pulse characteristics means here generally uh, the variation or output is depends on uh, uh, depends on time which is a transient where there is a transient variation. So, first of all I will discuss in detail about as static characteristics of power sources. Here uh, generally here generally based on this static characteristic power source generally this power source is categorized into three different categories. One is called constant current characteristics that is represented in terms of CC, C for constant and uh, C for another C for current. Uh, this is sometimes called drooping characteristics of power source and this is also sometimes called falling characteristics of power source. The wall the name has same characteristic actually though it has different name, but this characteristic system that means this characteristic has different different name, three different name. Another category is constant potential or constant voltage characteristics. This is generally popularly known as CV characteristic power sources. That means, CV means here generally C stand for constant and V stand for voltage. That is why this is also called constant voltage power source characteristics. Depending upon this characteristics, this power source is categorized in uh, that is called CV power sources. And third categories which has a combination of CC and CV that means combined characteristic power source. This third categories power source is called combined categories power sources. Now, I will discuss in details about all the uh, characteristics of power sources, what are the different static characteristics of the power source that I will discuss in details. Now, before going to detailed discussion about constant current, constant voltage and combined characteristic power sources, first of, low, uh, first of all here we should know uh, the arc characteristics. What is the characteristics of the arc? Generally arc means once we go for doing welding, then generally in between the gap there is generally developed arc, this is generally called arc. So, what is the what is the characteristics of arc which is very much important before going to detail, uh, detail about uh, characteristics of power source. So, this arc means here in between this workpiece and electrode, this is actually electrode and this is actually workpiece, workpiece. Generally, a arc is generated. This generally the welding voltage is called whatever the voltage available in this arc gap. That means, in this region in between electrode and workpiece whatever the voltage we got that is called welding voltage. Generally, this voltage generally depends on its arc length, length of the arc. 
So, this voltage generally depends on this length of the arc. How it is dependent? The little bit I am just we know that uh, V is equal to voltage is equal to I into R. So, voltage is equal to I into R, I is the current and R is the resistance. This V is equal to I R, this resistance generally, so voltage if the current is constant, if the current is constant, generally this resistance is depends on rho L by cross sectional area. That means, generally this voltage depends on length and its cross sectional area. That means, this voltage is directly proportional to the length and it is generally inversely proportional to the cross sectional area. Now, if the all other parameter is constant, uh, the, uh, that means, A, A cross sectional area of the arc and then current then what happens this voltage is directly proportional to length of the arc. So, what we can uh, get from here that if the uh, length increase then generally this voltage increase in case of that welding voltage increase that means this Vw is proportional to length of the arc here if other parameter is constant. So, here what we can get if the length increase then that then uh, voltage will increase from here we get this idea. Now, what is the characteristics of this arc uh, in a uh, due to change of voltage, due to change of current that we should know. First of all, we will see for a particular current how the voltage is changing if the arc length is changing. Let this is your arc length versus then let this axis represent voltage V. Now, here it has observed that generally if the arc length change what I have already told you that means, if the arc length change then for a particular current for constant current that means, for constant current, constant current I generally constant I generally this arc length if arc length increase then voltage increase. So, here generally this is generally this uh, it depends on uh, that means, it depends on arc length. If the arc length increase then voltage increase. Now, what is the arc length characteristics or arc characteristics once current changes, once current changes. This is generally the here we can represent the what is the characteristics of a arc. Uh, in, in, in a uh, voltage uh, ampere uh, diagram. Here what, uh, what is observed that generally current is generally changing like this. That means, uh, the for a particular arc length, let this is for a particular arc length L1, voltage is increases with increase of current. From this curve we can see, but the at the initial position there is a variation, uh, there is a little bit decrease of voltage with increase of current. Why this is? This I will discuss in details in case of in, in physics of welding. Now, here what we observe that generally after that generally it has observed that with increase of current voltage is increases. From here also we get this relationship because V is also proportional to current, V is also proportional to current from this Ohm's law actually we can get this thing that means, V is equal to I. So, V is proportional to I. Now, now we will see generally let this is for L 2. So, for different different uh, different arc length different voltage we get. Generally in this case which one should have more voltage which one this which one should have more arc length whether L 1 is greater than L 2 or L 2 is greater than L 1. Now, what we observe that voltage is also directly proportional to length of the arc. So, this is generally L 1 L 2 are length of arc. So, what we observe from here that ok if the so here what will be the things here generally the L 2 should greater than L 1. So, here as L 2 is more that is why for a particular current for a particular current generally for a particular current its voltage magnitude also will be more. For a particular current 
So, for a particular current, if we change the arc length, if we change the arc length, then voltage increase or decreases. How, how it is behave? From here, what behavior we are getting? If the voltage is, if the current is uh, increases, first of all, if the, if the arc length is increases, then generally voltage is increases for a particular current. And another thing also you observe that for a particular arc length, this voltage is increases with increase of current. That, that character, this is very much essential once we go for decreasing the characteristics of uh, welding power sources. Now, we will go one by one about this static power sources characteristics in details. So, first of all, we will see what is constant current power supply characteristics. Generally, constant current power supply characteristics curve, we can represent it in terms of generally all, all the characteristics curve is represented in V i, V i, V i axis system, V i axis system. That means, voltage ampere axis system generally all the character generally voltage ampere axis system generally is used for uh, representing the uh, characteristics of power sources. Here this horizontal axis represent the current which is in ampere and this, this axis represent vertical axis represent the voltage which generally in volt. Generally, this constant current power supply uh, characteristics curve, that means, if, if, if the curve is represented in this V i plot, then that is generally called the characteristic curve. Now, here generally in case of uh, constant characteristic power supply, uh, generally voltage ampere relationship can be represented by like this. So, it here generally, here generally a substantial downward or negative slope is there. What we can observe here? Here generally if we draw a tangent, if we draw a tangent, so here what we got? Here generally this, this, this slope generally, ha, this slope has, this slope have generally negative sign. That means, here ch change of slope is negative. That is why this power sources also sometimes, because if we draw a tangent in this curve everywhere, this, this slope is becoming negative, uh, negative in nature. So, this uh, due to this substantial downward uh, characteristic curve, this is also sometimes called negative slope curve or this is this characteristic curve known as drooping characteristic curve because here generally substantial downward or negative slope of the curve is there. That is why this types of power source curve is also called generally generally drooping characteristic power source curve. This types of power source also called as drooping characteristics or source. Do drooping characteristic power, this types of power source also called drooping curve because due to its substantial downward or negative slope in this curve is there. Now, this curve have some interesting point. Generally, in this point, this is called generally I s. This point is represent I s, that means when the voltage is 0, then whatever the current is there, that is called generally I s. Here, I s is generally represented as short circuit current, short circuit current. And this, when, when this current is 0, then that means when there is no load in the uh, output terminal, then whatever the voltage is coming, that generally voltage is called open circuit voltage. So, this V0 is called open circuit, circuit voltage. Now, generally let us for a particular, for a particular arc length, so let us for a particular arc length, we know this arc length characteristic curves is look like this. In, in, in a V i space, in a voltage uh, ampere that means voltage current uh, space, generally 
the arc length characteristics, arc characteristics generally I have already explained, arc characteristics can be represented as like this. This is generally arc characteristic curve. Now, for a particular arc length, generally, generally arc characteristic curve is represented like this. Now, the cutting point of this characteristic curve of power supply and R characteristic curve, this point known as working point, this point P is known as, P is known as working point. What does it mean? Working point means, working point means whatever the current, whatever the current and voltage, let this is VW and this let this is IW, whatever the current and voltage we are getting this is the actually this crossing point represent the welding voltage and welding current. That means, during welding what will be the current is there in arc and what will be, what will be the voltage is there uh, in, uh, in arc that means, whatever the welding voltage is there that represent the crossing point of arc characteristic curves and power source characteristic curve. This is generally called power source characteristic curve, this is power source characteristic curve, power source characteristic curve power source characteristic curve this is generally called power source characteristics and this is generally called arc characteristic curve. So, this crossing point is called working point. Here generally represent the vo working voltage that means welding voltage and welding current. Here point should be I w first of all horizontal axis then vertical axis. Here one thing we keep it in mind that means here for remembering purpose generally characteristic curves the vertical axis is voltage which is started by V and in vertical uh, term also in vertical order or in vertical order also the first term is B. So, what will be the vertical axis that means its vertical axis should be general vertical axis uh, for remembering purpose you can keep vertical axis should have V and also voltage is also started by V word. So, so generally uh, in a vertical axis generally here uh, how we can remember this thing vertical axis for a uh, characteristic curve uh, vertical axis should have uh, generally voltage V uh, the, 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 that way you can remember this thing. Now, here why this is called constant current power source characteristic curve, we should know this thing. Why this is called constant current characteristic power, uh, power source curve? Because here one things we can observe from here, one things we can observe from here that means this is current and this is voltage. One things we can observe from here from this uh, characteristic curve one things we can observe that with a, a small variation of arc length or arc voltage with a, a small variation of voltage here generally variation of current is very a small that means here variation of current is delta i let this is delta i. So, this delta i and let this is your this is this is delta v. So, what happens here what we can observe that with a variation of voltage the change of current is almost constant that the change of current is very uh, small that is why generally this uh, characteristics curve is called constant current power source characteristics. Now, this power source may have open circuit voltage adjustment here generally this whatever the open circuit voltage this power source generally open circuit voltage adjustment as well as this current adjustment is uh, generally this power source uh, may have open circuit voltage adjustment in addition to open current control also there. In the here we can adjust this open circuit voltage as well as generally uh, here uh, generally output current control is possible in this power source. Now, here another thing is very important here, here generally as here within a change of voltage with a change of voltage actually change of voltage means change of arc length 
what we can observe from here because if other thing is constant here change of voltage means change of arc length. So, here if the change of arc length is occur or due to this if the change of voltage is occur then what happens as the current change is very small that means current change is uh, marginal that is why what we can say here generally the power is remain almost constant if some arc length change or voltage change is occur. Due to this generally here generally uh, melting rate of melting of filler material generally in this case is almost constant because here generally change of voltage means let us this is a arc length and this is another arc length. Now what happens? So, if this voltage is reduced from here to here if the voltage is reduced from here to here that means if this voltage is reduced from here to here then here then only current is increase also a small it is not more current will increase from here to here. So, here if voltage is reduced at from this due to this characteristics if voltage is decrease then current is increase, but the decrease decrement of this voltage magnitude and increment of this current magnitude is almost similar that means a small change of voltage a small change of current is occur. So, here generally change of current is very small that is why what have due to change of uh, voltage change of current is very small that is why it is called constant current power source and due to decrease of voltage as some sort of increase of current is there as some sort of increase of current is there that is why here generally power output remain almost constant. So, that is why here generally electrode melting rate is fairly constant for this welding process. That is why here I have written here, here electrode melting rate for this constant uh, power source generally remains fairly constant with a change in arc length. Arc length means if the uh, if the means change of uh, voltage arc length change means voltage will change. So, if this this will change then there will be generally uh, change of current will be marginal that is why what happens here melting rate will be almost constant that means it is fairly constant for this power source. Now, here one thing we keep it in mind generally. So, so, so where is the application of this power source? So, the, this, this power source have uh, generally application especially where this, this power source are uh, required for a process using relatively thicker consumable electrode which may sometime get, get starved to work piece or this power source characteristics we can apply where with the no consumable tungsten electrode with non consumable actually with non consumable uh, tungsten electrode where during touching of electrode for a starting of the arc may lead to damage of electrode if current is unlimited. So, here what happens during touching of the electrode uh, during touching of the electrode especially for non consumable types of tungsten T welding non consumable tungsten ele uh, electrode uh, during a starting of the arc here I am just showing little bit then it will be very clear to you generally this is V this is I voltage and this is I. Now, what we observe here what we can observe here what we can observe here generally one thing here we can observe here generally during no load that means once it is short circuited that means here uh, what what it what it is represent generally here this is good for thicker consumable electrode. Why this is good for thicker consumable electrode? Because thicker consumable electrode means if this thicker or consumable electrode touch the uh, work piece then there is a chance of short circuiting. So, due to this short circuiting there what are the things can happen? If due to this short circuiting generally this voltage drop uh, voltage reduce substantially that means voltage uh, reduction is very high. So, what happens due to this voltage reduction and uh, due to this high conductivity if it is shorted generally resistance reduce tremendously and voltage also generally in this case voltage also reduce tremendously. So, wha what happens if uh, due to this voltage reduction if the current charge is occur current rise is uh, occur tremendously then there is a chances of uh, work piece damage is there. 
and another cases also. So, what happens here this is that is why this is applied in case of the power sources the, this constant current power supply generally have wide application in case of thicker consumable electrode. In case of thicker consumable electrode uh, what happens here it may sometimes get stuffed to the work piece. So, if it get stuffed to the work piece then this uh, current rise will not be very high. That is why generally this uh, power source have a use for thicker consumable electrode as well as with non consumable tungsten electrode because non consumable tungsten electrode generally in case of non consumable tungsten electrode tungsten should not be uh, melted or should not be degraded and it is deposited to the work piece because if tungsten will be deposited then this will create a defect this will be a inclusion. So, we should prevent this tungsten, de tungsten degradation. For that reason generally if we use this power source characteristics then once we start the arc then during starting the arc by using tungsten electrode generally if we touch the tungsten electrode to the work piece then there will not be huge change of current because if we use this types of power source then due to this touching of elect, uh, electrode tungsten electrode to work piece here the current rise will not be very high. So, for that reason here generally this degradation or melting of the tungsten electrode will not be there. That is why this types of power source is generally used for thicker consumable electrode and with non consumable tungsten electrode uh, power supply. If you use this thing gener then generally uh, for arc starting we can reduce the damage of electrode uh, if the current is not if, 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 because we if we use this power source then we can uh, reduce the chances of damage damage of the electrode. Now, a doping characteristics here another things you should keep it in mind I have not yet uh, discussed about uh, constant voltage power source characteristics because generally here what about the open circuit voltage use in case of constant current power source characteristics the open circuit voltage generally comparatively less in case of constant voltage power source characteristics. Why this is required generally this open circuit voltage uh, as uh, why this is required here generally in doping characteristic as compared with state, uh, state characteristics also permit higher no load voltage or open circuit voltage which is required because to prevent the arc from extinguished too easily. Because if the open circuit voltage is more then this arc ex chances of arc extinguishing also will be less. Generally this method is widely used in manual metal arc welding. Manual metal arc welding why this method is uh, uh, applicable more uh, widely it is used because generally in case of manual arc welding there is a chances of fluctuation of fan. So, if this fluctuation of fan will be there then there will change the voltage. So, if change the voltage then there will be change of current. So, if we use this types of power source characteristic then change of voltage corresponding to change of voltage here corresponding current change also will be marginal. So, here generally due to this vibration or uh, shivering of fan generally here generally if the uh, if the hand is oscillating or vibrating then this deposition rate will be more or less fairly constant. So, that is why generally because here if we change in case of uh, that is why generally this types of characteristics uh, is used for manual metal arc welding process especially SMA W welding process generally this types of characteristics curve is widely used. Now, here one things you should know let us I am giving you some uh, I am drawing some here one things let us I am drawing some curve let this is curve A this is curve B two different characteristic power source I have drawn here. Now, what happens here uh, here which one is good you should know this thing here generally in first A case if due to change of voltage here we see here due to change of voltage here due to change of voltage whatever the current change we are getting let delta I 1 whereas, in case of curve B in case of curve B this lets this change of current is let this change of current is delta I 2. So, if the slope is more steep generally if this slope so here generally change of current due to curve A that means power source characteristics power source A is greater than 
change of current due to uh, characteristic curve B. So, here generally this that means, as in case of curve B, it is less uh, less change by uh, by changing same amount of voltage as here less change of current is occur. That is why generally this curve B will give or the B will provide us better control of melting rate compared to the curve A. So, here generally B characteristics is better than A. Here generally B power source is better than A. Why it is better? Because what happens in case of B generally we are getting by changing same voltage uh, generally here we can uh, get a, a less change of current. Now, this constant current power supply generally widely used in, in case of manual metal arc welding process. Now, this working point uh, already I have told you because working point means uh, I have already discussed about working point. Working point means the crossing point of power source characteristic curve and arc characteristic curve. So, this point is called generally working point. In this point whatever the current and whatever the voltage we got this is called welding current and this is called welding welding current and this is called welding voltage at that time. That means, this crossing point of uh, uh, arc characteristic curve and power source characteristic curves is uh, called is working point. So, in the, this point represent this crossing point represent the whatever the welding current is used during that welding time and whatever the voltage is used during that uh, welding time. Now, we will go for constant voltage power source characteristics. Now, constant voltage power source characteristics here generally uh, voltage is remain almost constant uh, that means, with change of current here generally voltage will be remained almost constant when it is loaded. Generally, so what we can say here? If the voltage remain almost constant when it is loaded, it is known as constant voltage or flat characteristics curve because here the curve is uh, uh, representing by a almost horizontal line. Generally, here typically a voltage drop we got is around 2 to 5 volt is normal. The, the within this range, generally this voltage drop we got here. How the constant voltage or flat characteristic curve is look like that I am showing here. Generally, this is always I represent. I told you generally this vertical axis represent voltage V, and horizontal axis represent current. Now here generally this uh, this constant voltage power source characteristics curves is look like this. Generally, here the voltage drop. That means here the maximum voltage drop here is around generally 2 to 5 volt within, a, within this range. Why it is called voltage characteristic curve? Because here this characteristic line, this is generally voltage characteristic line which is almost horizontal or, or, or where there is a small variation of voltage is there, uh, where there only voltage is almost remain constant that is why this is called generally constant voltage power source curve. This constant voltage power source curve is uh, generally term I actually I have already told you this is called C B power source characteristics also. Now, here a very interesting things we will get generally here first of all we represent what is this point represent V 0. So, here generally what is V 0 represent V 0 represent here open circuit voltage open circuit voltage. In case of constant current power sources what I have told you this V 0 value constant current power supply generally it is look like this where V 0 is here. So, what I told that in case of constant current this is generally constant current power source, power source curve 
and this is generally constant voltage power source curve. So, in, in, in case of constant current power source uh, characteristic I told you this open circuit voltage generally is higher than this constant voltage power source curve. So, that is that you can observe from here also that I have told uh, told you uh, uh, told you in constant voltage power uh, constant current power uh, car constant current characteristic power source. Now, here why um, um, uh, this state characteristics where it is applied why how it is look like what is the advantage what is the drawback of this power source characteristic that I should tell you now. Generally this state characteristic maintain a good control of arc length that means here generally uh, in uh, constant current power source characteristic what we observe as there is a uh, a small variation that means a small decrease of voltage there will be a small increase of current or if there is there will be a small increase of voltage generally there was what we observe there was generally a small increase of current was there. So, they are generally uh, changes of current and voltage was marginal that is why what we observe there they are generally melting rate that means power in the arc was almost remain constant that is why they are generally melting rate was uh, fairly constant. So, that is why in case of constant current what we uh, told that there is generally uh, melting rate is constant, but in this constant voltage power source characteristics here generally arc length remains almost constant, uh, the here uh, variation of arc length is negligible here. That means, state characteristic maintain good control of arc length when welding with a method involving a continuously fit filler, filler wire. Generally this characteristic power source used for uh, automatic welding process where there is a continuous feed of filler wire is there. So, if there is a continuous feed of filler wire then what happens if there will be a variation of if there will be any fluctuation and if there will be any variation of arc length generally if we use these power source characteristics then what happens this arc length remain uh, almost constant that means there is a good control of arc length is there. Why good control of arc length is there if we use constant voltage power supply that I will explain in details. Now with constant voltage power supply the arc voltage is established generally uh, this for constant voltage power supply here this arc voltage whatever the voltage we are getting in arc this arc voltage this arc voltage whatever the voltage we are getting in this arc this voltage generally controlled by or this voltage generally established by setting the output voltage of the power source. That means, in power source itself we generally this is let power source here generally we set the voltage we set a voltage here by setting this voltage we can adjust this arc voltage. That is why here what is written that means with constant voltage power supply the arc voltage is established by setting the output voltage on the source. Here generally output voltage we can set by setting the voltage in power supply itself. In this category is power source the current whatever the current will be during welding whatever the current will be welding current this current generally determined by the speed of filler wire this whatever the speed of that means how much speed is there is speed of wire. So, this speed of wire determine what should be the current here. So, if the speed will be more then here generally automatically current will be more if the speed will be less then current will be less because if speed will be more then what happens here current will automatically generally control because more melting will be required because here generally this arc length generally this arc length whatever the arc length is there this arc length generally almost fairly uh, constant uh, here generally almost we keep arc length generally fairly constant that is why what happens if the uh, if the means feeding will increase to maintain the constant arc length or to control the arc length automatically our current will increase if or decrease. Okay. So, that is why in this current generally this uh, welding current is determined by speed of the filler wire. Now, how it is happened that I will explain in detail. 
why it is called constant current power, uh, constant voltage power source that also I will explain in detail in subsequent slide. Here one thing we can observe that here generally in case of constant voltage power supply what we can observe with a, a small variation with a small variation of voltage let delta V here what we got? we got a delta we got a huge variation of voltage here generally change of current is high very high so that's why if here generally if they are they generally due to if they if, if here uh, a, a small variation of uh, feeding rate is occur then this current generally automatically rise uh, in such a way so that more metal will melted and it's regain to its original arc length Okay. Now, for these characteristics that means for these characteristics this constant voltage power supply characters power, power supply have some a special name. What is this a special name that I will tell. Now, you see here one thing you can observe the, the application of this uh, power uh, supply generally used where there is a constant feed uh, of filler wire is there. That means especially this is used for automatic types of welding previous case constant current we used in a, uh, in case of manual metal but these uh, power source characteristics we uh, generally we use uh, in case of uh, automatic uh, types of uh, wire, automatic types of uh, filler wire control or we can we can say this is generally automatic uh, welding process generally this power source characteristics is used the use of such power source in conjunction with constant electrode filler wire feed result in a self regulating or self adjusting arc length system actually due to this characteristics of power source and it has a generally control of arc length is there or here generally we can uh, we can uh, uh, keep our feed rate constant uh, that is why what happens how it is happen that I will tell in details uh, in subsequent uh, slides here generally why this constant electrode wire feed is there for this uh, power supply is achieved for this types of characteristic power supply is achieved uh, this characteristics is called self regulation cell adjustment arc length system. What is self regulation and self adjusting arc length system this power supply why it is called self regulating power source characteristics or why it is called self adjustment arc length power source characteristics. Uh, that I will explain clearly in subsequent slide. First of all due to some internal or external fluctuation if change in welding output is occur then it will automatically increase or decrease the electrode melting rate and to regain the desired arc length. So, that is why it is generally used in automatic welding process what I have already told you. Here one thing we should keep it in mind if the arc length is to be a stable more stable the power source characteristics must not slope too much for constant voltage power source. Why this is? Here one thing you keep it in mind why this is written. Here you see what does it means in this last statement that means here arc length to be stable that means this arc length remain constant. What is this last statement tell? The arc length to be in constant length generally here Generally here what are the thing required this is generally current and this is generally voltage. What I have told you if the arc length is to be stable the power source characteristic must not slope too much for constant voltage power source. What does it mean? Here one thing we can observe let us a power source characteristic which have a slope like this another have a slope like this. Now for this case for this for this two case what you can observe you can easily see from here let this is a this is a for a particular power source a and this power source is for b now uh, we have two different slope uh, characteristics are there now here wh what are the things 
we say a small change of with same change of voltage here in fast categories in fast categories generally current change you get lets current change lets you get delta i1 whereas in second categories if the slope is more stiff then here this current change is let delta i2 so here generally delta i1 is more than delta i2 so from here what you can observe if the slope is more which is observed in case of power source b in case of power source b in this case here generally we get change of current is a small whereas if the slope is less in this case this current is current change is very high then comparatively high generally current change is high so if the current change is high then what happens here generally this arc length uh, that means if here just i am just showing little bit then it will be more clear let this is a electrode if this is a electrode now let's this is the wire feeding let's wire is continuously feeding here now let's suddenly due to some internal or external disturbance let this wire feed rate increase this let this wire feed rate increase so in this case our arc length will become let's initially the arc length was l1 here let's arc length is l2 so what happens in the first category this that, that, that means if this arc length uh, changes to l2 that means if arc length reduce means your voltage uh, here whatever the voltage will be there vw1 whatever the voltage here will be vw2 here generally in case of vw1 is greater than vw2 vw2 why because from here we can observe that generally arc uh, this arc voltage depends on arc length as l2 is a small that's why what happens l2 is a small so what happens here generally uh, l1 is uh, l2 is a smaller than l1 so generally in case of l2 whatever the voltage here we will get this voltage will be generally less uh, than this voltage whatever we will get for 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 arc length l1 so due to this voltage changes what we observe from here if this voltage uh, changes occur if the power source have a less negative slope or if a, if the power source have a less slope then generally this in case of shorter arc here one things you can observe from here if here we use curve a instead of curve b then what happens here generally more current change will occur so if more current change will occur means more melting more power will be here and what happens this mass of extra electrode will melt faster than whatever the things happen in case of curve b curve b that means here so if the slope is less then chances of re uh resizes arc length is rapid uh, if the slope is less generally uh, so from here what we can conclude that if the slope is less in a power source uh, that means in a constant voltage power source if the slope is less then what happens here generally uh, change of current will be more so change of current will more means what happens more rapid melting of filar material will be there so more rapidly it can regain to its original position so here generally if the slope is less as the delta 1 is small delta 1 is more as the delta 1 is more for that reason melting will be more and it can regain to its uh, original arc length faster than the uh, power source b from there we can easily got so here generally which power source is good here which power source uh, arc length is stable here here power source 1 which have generally less slope than power source b so power source 1 have more stable arc length than the power source b this is a very interesting things we should know so lesser stable lesser slope uh, power source constant voltage power source characteristics is better than 
higher slope uh, constant voltage power source character. Why? Because generally lesser has higher change of current, so higher melting regain to its original length. Now, this constant voltage power source ca characteristics also is called self regulation of arc characteristic. Why it is called self regulation of arc? Self regulation of arc characteristic that we should know. Why it is called self regulation of arc characteristics? Because I have already explained that means due to ch small change of voltage, here I am explaining again. In case of constant voltage power source characteristic, what do you observe? In case of constant, why what do you observe? Just here I will explain little bit in clearly, then it will be very clear to you. Let this is constant voltage power source characteristic curve and this is constant current power source characteristic curve. What happens? Let us this point is 1, this is point 2 and this is point 3. So, what happens? Let us this point was when there is a arc length L1 and this point 2, so let us this is point 1, this is point another arc length is let this. So, let this is point 1, this is point 2 and this is point 3. That means, let this is arc, this is initial working point and they let this is this is for arc length L1, initial working point was 1, let this is L2, where working point is 2. What does it mean here? Actually, I should explain why it is called self regulation of arc. That means, let us, this is a electrode, initially initially it has a arc length, let us initially it has a arc length L 1, let us it has a initially arc length L 1. By some internal or external disturbance, let, let the feed rate, let the feed rate increase or decrease and what happens? It has, it has changes arc length from L 1 to L 2. That means, some arc length lets it reduce. So, if the, so let us this is for L 1 curve, L 1 characteristic curve and this is for, this is for L 2 characteristic curve, because here some sort of uh, voltage drop is taken place. So, uh, uh, so arc length is, arc, 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 arc length variation is taken place. Due to this arc length variation, here what happens? There is occur a change of voltage. Okay. Due to this change of voltage, in case of constant voltage power source characteristics, in case of constant voltage power source characteristics, what we got? We got huge change of current. That means, from here to here, from here to here, this mass of change of current is occur. From the here to here, this mass of change of current is occur. Due to this current change, due to this current change, here generally more power will be there and more power will uh, generally melt due to this high current, this extra electrode, generally this extra electro electrode portion will rapidly melt, melt and it generally regain to its original position. It is generally regain to its, it is generally regain to its original position due to this, due to this high change of current. Now, so what happens as 
So, once this high change of currents and more melting of the flare material and it is regained to its original length L1, it is regained to its original uh, position L1. So, here generally due to internal or external uh, disturbance, if there is a chances of uh, fluctuation of arc length is there, this arc length generally due to increase, generally due to decrease of voltage, uh, there is occur increase of melting rate. Why? because due to uh, increase of melting rate which generally resize its arc length to its original position L1. So, what happens if this arc length reduce and come here then what happens here more melting will be taken place and it is return back to its original arc length L1, uh, L1. it is return back to its original arc length uh, L1 due to what due to this high change of current. So, if the characteristic curve is constant voltage characteristic. But here if the characteristic curve is constant current then due to this change of voltage here change of current is here change of current is generally constant constant current here the generally change of current is here the change of current is generally change of current is very small. So, what happens? due to this change of arc length generally here the arc this uh, working point will be 0.3, but if it is a constant voltage power source then generally this working point will shift from 2 to 1, whereas if it is a constant current power source characteristic then working point will be 0.3. That means in this case if the arc length decrease that means this arc length remain within that length that length only that means if it is decreased to L2 in case of constant current the arc length will be L2 whereas in case of uh, constant voltage power source characteristics if the arc length decrease that means if the uh, small amount of voltage decrease then more uh, current will be changed and due to this more current change more melting of filler material will be taken place due to this more uh, melting of filler material. Uh, material this arc length regain to its original length. So, as here automatically melting rate is increasing by changing the high uh, changing the current range in higher level uh, that is why this types of characteristics power source or this constant current constant voltage characteristics power source is called self regulation characteristics of arc. Uh, arc. So, so, here what we observe if the uh, voltage reduce if in a constant voltage power source if the voltage uh, voltage is reduced or arc length reduce then what happens due to this uh, small reduction of voltage high increase of current is occur due to this high increase of current generally what happens this more melting of flare material will be taken place due to this more melting of flare material generally it is regained to its uh, original arc length. That is why in case of constant voltage power source characteristic generally uh, this arc length remain almost same due to this arc length control characteristic this is also named as self regulating characteristics of arc. Now, now another last categories of this uh, static characteristic power source is called combined characteristic power source. This combined characteristic power source have a this combined characteristic power source consist both constant current and constant voltage characteristics. That means, here the generally higher voltage this is generally open circuit voltage, open circuit voltage generally this higher voltage that here generally the higher voltage portion is constant current power source characteristics and lower voltage portion is constant voltage power source characteristics. Generally below a certain threshold voltage this voltage is called triggered, triggered voltage this voltage is also called triggered voltage. This voltage is also called triggered voltage. Generally due to uh, generally it has this higher voltage portion is constant current characteristics and lower voltage portion is constant uh, voltage characteristic that means below a certain threshold value the power source characteristic switch to constant voltage uh, characteristics. These power source generally 
यूजफुल फॉर एडवांस शिल्डेड मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग और एडवांस एस एम ए डब्ल्यू प्रोसेस वाई बिकॉज टू एसिस्ट द आर्क स्टार्टिंग एंड टू एवॉड इलेक्ट्रो स्टिकिंग इन द वेल पुल सो दिस जेनरली पावर सोर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स पावर सोर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैव एप्लीकेशन इन केस ऑफ इन केस ऑफ एडवांस टाइप्स ऑफ एस एम ए डब्ल्यू प्रोसेस इफ वी यूज दिस टाइप्स ऑफ पावर सोर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इट विल एसिस्ट द आर्क स्टार्टिंग एंड इट विल एवॉड द इलेक्ट्रिक स्टिकिंग इन द वेल पुल सो दिस दिस पावर सोर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑल्सो पॉपुलर फॉर एडवांस टाइप्स ऑफ एस एम ए डब्ल्यू प्रोसेस नाउ नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल्स अबाउट डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स पावर सोर्स एंड सम other information on uh, and some uh, some important other information on welding power source so next class sorry next class i will discuss uh, in details about dynamic characteristics of power source and uh, why are you know, what is the advantage or the why are generally these dynamic characteristics is important and some uh, other fundamental uh, knowledge on uh, welding power source especially what should be the insulation insulation type what should be the means uh, uh, wire type generally then what should be the feeding mechanism we should use feeding mechanism generally we should use uh, for power source related to that things next class i will discuss in details after that uh, generally i will co complete the Uh, power source categories and its characteristic but then we'll switch to another topics uh, that is called physics and principle of welding process